it's crazy cooter scooter coming at you out for a little ride it's actually supposed to rain today right now it's not so if you're gonna come out for a little ride i was doing something for one of my other hobbies um so i'm gonna be heading over to my dad's well i figured i'd make a video for y'all let's go this way instead easier to get out we're gonna go down this way so I figured I'd make a video for y'all today. Uh, not really a destination video, I guess. Um, I had somebody I worked with one day ask me if I could have what scooters I could own if I had the money to own them. So I got a top five list, basically. Uh, I can't really. There's probably more. This is just my top five uh, scooters that I would like to own if I ever had the money. Um, there's three of them that are the same manufacturer, but they're different models. Uh, they're all vintage scooters. The first one is a 1963 Vespa 150 GL. Uh, I was looking, I don't know much about it, um, but I was looking at pictures of it. I thought it was kind of cool looking and um, stuff like that. That's what led me to put that on my list. Um, it don't matter the color it would be, it would just be awesome to have. Uh, I believe I, when I was looking at them, I seen a, you would have a side card attached to this one. So that would be kind of cool. I think that was one of the reasons that led me to put this one on the list. Uh, number four would be a 1969 Vespa Rally 180. Um... And again, I thought this one was cool when I seen pictures of it. i uh, seen this one in an orange color, which is my favorite color. Um, I think it's... I don't know exactly any details on it. I couldn't really find any on it. Um, but I thought it was cool, so I figured I'd add it to uh, my list here. Um, number three. Now this one is a kind of a cool one, and probably one going to be the hardest one to find here in the United States where I live. Um, is a Vespa Oppi. Now these are kind of cool because they got different configurations on them. They got it looks like a f scooter from the front, uh, a van type, a just a pickup truck bed on the back of it. Uh, they were produced. Uh, well, they actually started their production in 1948. Uh, I believe they're still in production. Not really sure about that. They they really didn't make it over here. Uh, they're using more of the uh, foreign countries than anything. But that they they, they are kind of cool looking. Uh, when the American pickers went overseas, I forget what season that was. They bought one. So that's how I learned about them and all that stuff. And they're just cool looking scooters. Um, so that's why it made the list at number three. Now number two for me is an American scooter. Uh, it's from the 50s. I definitely don't think this one is produced anymore. So it is definitely a Vespa. Um, it's a Cushman Eagle. It looks like a little motorcycle when I look at pictures of it. It's got a shift on it. Most of these ones do shift. Um, but it's kind of a cool looking thing. Like I said, I know I don't think this one is produced anymore, but I have seen pictures of it and all that stuff. I know it's from like the 50s and stuff like that. I don't know if they stopped making it after the 50s or into the 60s or anything like that. But that's number two on my list. Now, number three on my list, amazingly enough, is actually a Harley Davidson. Now, Harley Davidson actually made a this scooter called a Harley Davidson Trapper from 1960 to about 1965. It was the only uh, motor scooter that Harley ever built. So, uh, anybody out there that knows this, it's cool. So anybody that rides a Harley and gives a scooter riders a hard hard time, we can throw this one up in their face. Harley did make a scooter. Now it was a uh, single engine two stroke motor. 
go up here and turn, which is really cool. Um, I have seen pictures of this, Google searching it out and all that stuff. It's just neat. Uh, that's why it's number one. Is I do have a dream to own a Harley someday. So I figured that would be a, that, that's number one for me is to own this one that is number one. The, the Harley Davidson. I, I do have a book called the Scooter Bible at home and there are there's an ad cert like for it and stuff. I have seen the ad cert online and everything like that. So that is a, one of the coolest scooters I've ever seen as far as I am concerned. Um, that's why it's number one for me. Again, it's because it's a Harley, a Harley. And I do uh, dream of owning a Harley someday. But I would never give up my scooter. So that would be a cool way to have a Harley and a scooter at the same time. But that's my uh, top five vintage scooters I would love to own. I um, wonder what your guys's would be if you had a vintage scooter dream. What one you would love to own. Please comment below uh, in your video, uh, of this video, to tell me what ones you would like to own. Because uh, that, that would be kind of interesting to me. To see what uh, other ideas of vintage scooters people would love to own. And of course, my top one that I have uh, I want to get Charlotte back up and running so technically I don't know if you can consider a dream scooter because I already own her and she's a 2007 but that 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 is my favorite my second scooter I ever had first one um, I forget what year but it was a uh, Honda Elite 50 uh, I got it when my uh, one cousin got his driver's license uh, when I was 12 years old Back in the 90s, I'm um, getting old. <laughs> I just turned 40 back in February, so. Anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it for this video right here. Until I talk to y'all in the next one, this is Crazy Cooter Scooter. Over and out.